Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Just a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy moly! Oh, oh, my, oh my God. It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing. How do you go? Oh, awesome. my gosh. Yes, folks, we are finally, finally musky fishing. Yay! <laughs> now, we're up on uh, famous Leech Lake up in Longville, Minnesota, Pete, and uh, kind of interesting twist this year. The Canadian border is closed, and you got a large influx of all those musky guys that usually go to Canada fishing northern Minnesota. That makes it a little tougher for guys, huh? Well, it's actually spread out all over the northern range, I guess, and uh, all over, because that there's just a lot of people that are going musky fishing and there's a lot more here but uh it's all good yeah, yeah. but i mean it's unusual to see as many boats as you guys have seen on yeah. weekends here yeah. right the weekends are crazy there's anglers coming from all over because they can't go to canada well it's august the 26th and uh we've had a real warm summer as everybody knows now it's safe to to fish muskies we got that low 70 water temp uh this time of year it's kind of a, both a rock and a weed deal huh yeah, it's kind of a transition time, John. And, you know, we think about bull rushes a little bit. It's not necessarily prime time for that either, but essentially you just start out and try it all. Uh, kind of a good general rule is uh, if it's a little windier, you know, we'll generally try the rocks and maybe if it's calm, we'll, we'll start out by weeds, but you definitely want to try all of it and try and pattern the fish from there. Well, one of my favorite times of the year. How many years we've been doing this together now? Uh, it's over 20, John. Yeah, and if people want to buy a cabin, where do they go? Rusty's up north realty.com. Oh, boy, is he cool. He yeah. is fast. Yeah. What's his, what's his some... old saying? <laughs> buy a car, life short, buy a cabin. Yeah, right. Now, yeah. we're going to catch a muskie or two, right? Yes. Hey, folks, we'll show what we're using and how we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. On the water, every second counts. So when there's a fish at 3 o'clock, be right on time with Mega 360 Imaging. Every sweep of our newest technology offers 125 feet of absolute clarity all around your boat. So you can see fish and every detail in every direction. With a clearer picture of what's below, you can catch fish like clockwork. Mega 360 Imaging, only from Humminbird. What's the difference between a good net and a great net? Simple, it's all in the features. Fortis nets by Clam Outdoors are tough, safe on fish, easy to use, and a telescoping handle. Learn more about Fortis nets at clamoutdoors.com. Are you ready to ride? It's time for the Yamaha Get Out and Ride sales event. Zero down, zero payments for 90 days on every single Yamaha motorcycle, ATV, and side-by-side. -side. Plus, amazing customer cash offers. See your local Yamaha dealer today for huge savings. Then, get out and ride. As I mentioned at the top of the program, finally musky fishing. And we're on Leech Lake. It's a big body of water, isn't it? Oh, it's big, yeah, yeah. 112,000 acres, a little more than that, so there's plenty of room. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> plenty of room. Hey, we got water temps today, uh, I guess around 72, 73 degrees. This is the time of year that you love because you can use a wide variety of lures. And uh, one of my favorites has become this Livingston Walking Boss. Now, now listen to this thing come through the water. That has gotten a lot of strikes over the last couple of years for us, hasn't it? Yeah, without a doubt, John. It's definitely a big fish bait and a good bait for any kind of conditions, really. Now, what do you got over here? That's not even painted. 
Well, it's uh, th this is a prototype version of the uh, the Jerkmaster 254. They're they actually are out, and they have painted versions now. But I'm still testing different weights, so I always play around. Okay, so that's kind of a, a glide jerkbait type deal. It is it, it is a crankbait technically because it has a lip, but I would describe it as a glider jerkbait. Okay. It has tremendous side to side action, neutrally buoyant. So and. You've seen it work. Yeah, oh, I have. And, and folks, we always start out with uh, a different bait. We've got three of us fishing today. Rusty, what are you throwing up there, buddy? You know, John, I've got this Sound Science Bucktail, and it's got different sized blades on it, and it cre creates a new sound in the water. There's bucktails that have been made for hundreds of years, but with the dual blades, it does give a different vibration, and it, it can trigger strikes that way. What's going on, Pete? I raised a third fish here now. Yeah, we should mention that. You know, we're in a, a weed edge here and you've had three come in and you're in the back of the boat. Uh, it's definitely lure right now, John. It's just a real negative uh, period. You know, there's been nothing on bucktail and topwater at all. Well, let's see, the, what are you, oh, that's a prototype, huh? That's uh yeah, a prototype jerk master. Uh, and uh, I don't know, that's, it, it's just that slide right now and they're kind of deep. That was a parallel cast down the weed line right, right. there. And that's, that's what happened. All three of them have come up real deep, so I think they're sitting right on that edge and they're really tucked down in it right now. Well, that's what we talked about in the open, using three different lures and trying yep. to find out what they're going on. At least we know they're here. Yeah. You know? That was a nicer fish. Yeah. I mean, not big, but nicer. Right. That was This one is of... interesting, folks. I'll tell you what, we've had about, what would you say, Rusty, four or five follows here? Yeah, there's a little, P patch of fish right here. I had just have one going around with me, but he looked pretty aggressive. He's very aggressive. He was swinging his head, but he he just didn't do it. I think we are going to get one tonight, Rusty. You know, folks, when you go through several hours and have a couple of follows, this is really the time of night that you should really be concentrating and be active. I mean, we got a warm day, the wind is laying down a little bit, Pete, and if the fish are gonna feed outside of the major windows, this is the time, right? Yeah, it can be hard after you've had a, you know, long tough spell. We had we had the follows all right on top of one another and then nothing. So but it is, you know, with the sun beating on your head and whatever, it's kind of easy to, you know, stop paying attention. But, you know, you definitely, when the sun hits the trees, you know, you want to be at it and, and get that attitude back up and be paying attention. And you get into this time of the night, somebody should be throwing a surface bait on these warmer summer evenings, right? Yeah, I think a topwater and a bucktail are pretty, you know, pretty standard. I mean, it's been a warm day all day. That most likely is going to be the best odds, even though we had the action on the jerk bait earlier. Fish, hey, there we go. Way to go, sweet. I'll tell you what, it was worth hanging out here, buddy. <laughs> you know, we talked before about hanging out to the last second. Not a real, well, it's a nice yeah, musky. Yeah, a bad one. Yeah. No, that's a beautiful we'll fish, it. sweet. We'll take it. All right, buddy, what was that on? <laughs> on a sound oh, science. the old sound science The old pulsator. sound science, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. He's just still Oh, yeah, pumping. yeah. He's a little bigger than you think, John. Well, you know what, I, see? I saw him right away, but... All right, Swede, way to go, buddy. <laughs> there we go. Maybe he's not huge, but he's, no. he's gonna get in my bait over. Now, see, if that was my bait, I would have gotten yelled at, but uh, no. Oh, that's a beautiful fish, Rusty. Yeah, nice fish. Hey, rusty. hey, buddy. Hey, <laughs> come on, turn around here. We gotta talk about this because uh, it, it was about, let me see here. I'm gonna check my watch. It's nine o'clock right now. <laughs> and that was about four o'clock where Pete had those three yeah, follows. Yeah, three fish just boom, boom, boom. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> Shut and it off. went dead, and I thought, boy, <laughs> as soon as the, the sun hits the trees, yep. we're going to have a heyday. We didn't see anything. Nothing. nothing. This is the first action we've had in several hours. And I stuck with that black bucktail trying to simulate the tulipy hatch, and boom, and he took it. So when you're fishing after dark like this, so the bucktail's probably the highest uh, It's a high odds. percentage. You know, they hook up. He hit it hard, and I laid the wood to him, and, you know, there he is in the net. Was that in the beginning of the cast? About the middle, yeah. Yeah. About just as it came off the bar. And I know Oh, Ryan, the photographer was starting to say, hey, you know, maybe it's time to go in. <laughs> but no, you wanted to stick it out. Hey, nice fish, huh, Pete? Yeah, yeah, it is a nice fish. It, it isn't quite as big as I thought. It's low 40s, but it's 
great after you're not catching yeah. anything. <laughs> no, and it's been, you know, this has been a tough summer. We weren't able to musky fish, you know, because of the warm water and all that that we had this year. But it's it, it was an interesting evening, as I just said to Rusty. You saw those three fish early. I thought, boy, we're going to have a heck of a bite right before the sun goes down. And we didn't see anything for, what, three hours? It probably was three hours since that last fish. And, probably. you know, you kind of get a little gloomy because it's so long between fish that all of a sudden you never know when Muskie, Mr. Muskie's going to make your day. Hey, fishing can <laughs> turn on a dime. Turn on a dime. No, who's going to hold this one up? Zero to hero. Zero to hero. Oh, we should mention, John, this Colossus net uh, that, that come out by clam this year. They didn't they didn't get out right away due to all the COVID stuff, but they've been available now for about a month and a half, and it's just a tremendous net in the series. I mean, it's it's got the mesh that I like with the coating, and it's knotless, and bottom line is the the hooks cannot get in past the barb. And you helped design that net, right? Yeah, so it's fish friendly. Obviously, that's the most important thing. But, uh, you know, the other thing you can run into when you're trying to get the fish off the hook is, uh, you know, your hook's getting tangled up in that mesh. And especially if a hook actually drives all the way through it, boy, this fish doesn't want to cooperate, though. Uh, you know, it can make it, it can make it a lot harder to Right. To get the fish out. Yeah, this one's just an ornery fish here. Okay. Oh, there we, we go. got your fish, sweet. Hey, Rusty. Nice job <laughs> there, buddy. Yeah, when you hold that fish up, he's a gorgeous fish. And this time of the year, folks, you want to get those fish back in the water as quickly as possible, and she'll be fine. Hey, Rusty, that happened at the beginning of the cast there? Actually, it was about the middle of the cast, John, just as the lure was coming off the bars when she hit it. She must have hit it going the other way because it about took the rod out of my hand. So, Pete, <laughs> one thing that I should mention, you know, we fish weeds most of the afternoon, and uh, when we didn't get a bite in the weeds, as we get towards prime time and during prime time, you said before we go in, let's try some rocks. Yeah, well, you gotta you gotta try a little bit after dark when you don't have a you know a window at all. You gotta give it a try, and you know, gotta try yeah. some rocks. Yeah. Right? Way to go, guys! The skies are we were fishing Leech Lake in Longville, Minnesota, an eight and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, nine and a half hours from Chicago, and three hours from Minneapolis. I'll tell you what, folks, when it gets hot like this, about 88 degrees and, and not much of a breeze, and you've been out in the boat all day, there is one thing that you can do if you're smart and you have one in your boat, and it's called a Johnson Pump Washdown Kit. It not only can clean your boat, but it can also cool down your guests. Watch. Do it again. There you go. Get that cub sign and keep going. There you go. Hey. Well, there now, we go. That is refreshing, though, isn't it? That feels good. And that really is great for cleaning your boat. We use live bait in here, you know, a lot. Yeah. And uh, you get crawler stuff all around. It just gets it off like crazy. But now that is good for taking a shower in the boat, too. It is, apparently. The Kalen's Google Eye Jig features a built-in glass rattle that creates a deadly combination of sight and sound. Its shockwave rattle system has been designed to call fish in. The lifelike rattle reflects the light and adds a dimension like no other. Available in two styles and 13 colors. It's hard to put our adventures on hold, but now is the perfect time to prepare for their return. Amsoil has your back with fast, free shipping and ordering has never been easier. Just look up your vehicle, select your product, add an oil change to your cart, and check out. Spend $100 on Amsoil products, and shipping is on us. Order now at Amsoil.com. Fish, fish! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nicely Whoa, done, Look sweet. at that, look Nicely at that, Rusty done. Boo! All right, buddy! <laughs> Let's see what we got here, man. He's just rocketing, John. Well, yeah. day two, we got a little bit of wind today, <laughs> and he smoked that bait, too, didn't he? Yeah, he hit her hard. All right, pal. That is cool. And I, you know, the, these smaller fish are so pretty, folks, too, when you get a look at them, aren't they, Rusty? They really are. They're beautifully marked, John. 
Oh, right. nice job there, pal. Hey, you know, all the years I've fished with you, I'm casting a bait in front of you all the time. How do you pull that off? You know, I guess they used to call me Horseshoe John for a reason. Now, there's one thing horseshoe. the way the Rusty reels in a bucktail, and you don't reel it in straight, you reel it in fast, and you're always changing direction. I'm always directions. swinging my rod tip and trying to alter the path just so it triggers a strike, you know, and that fish actually hit at the end of the cast, and I was just turning and burning when he grabbed it. You know, it's interesting, though. We just kind of a little hazy cloud cover move in and we got the wind you like today. Yeah, we've got that east-southeast wind. That's my favorite wind on leech. How'd that hit feel like, buddy? It hit like a freight train. What, was, what bait was that on? That's one of them new sound science that Pete's got there. Well, Pete has done a great job inventing baits that make a, the little erratic bit different. noise, now this, you know? This I switched to a smaller blade so I could work it faster, but it gives a different vibration. Well, I am proud of you. Thanks, John. I really am, buddy. That's, uh, I, this guy catches more fish in the middle of the boat, and Pete catches more fish in the back of the boat, and the guy in the front of the boat might as well not be here. No, <laughs> okay. Well, wow. it's not a giant Swede, but that was cool and fun. That was look a at fun how, fish. Look at how pretty. I, I just, <laughs> you know, so these pretty. Leech Lake strain fish, when they're young like that, Pete, are just, the marking is, markings are incredible, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. he's getting ready to go. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Good release there, pal. Oh, that's fun. And uh, that was caught, you guys, at uh, 1204. Oh. I mean, I'm just saying middle of the day, middle but you day. said right before that fish was caught that you like this this haze and cloud cover cloud moving in. Cloud cover's changing and coming in, yeah. Did you just say that right Oh, yeah, that well, you got a little weather. It's, uh, you know, weather trumps everything. It, you know, we, we talk about the moon a lot and the majors and minors and all of that kind of thing and a steady weather pattern, that can make a big difference. But weather trumps that. So if we got something coming in, a little wind picking up, hopefully that's not the last. And again, what I was saying to Swede, the way he he reels in a bucktail, and I always kid him about catching fish in the middle of the boat, but he catches a lot of fish behind me the way he reels that in, you know, that bucktail, that retrieve. Well, or, yeah, yeah, the bucktail retrieve he uses is generally real effective, and that's one of the reasons that we talk about it all the time. Everybody's trying different baits and different techniques, different speeds, so that, that's the way you pattern fish and hopefully take advantage of it. Yeah, are you going to hug though. him, Rusty? <laughs> there, there, there you go. <laughs> Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check out our new expanded ad for even more deals, more savings in store and online at fleetfarm.com. And Scentlock Hunting Apparel is at a low fleet price starting at $29.99. And when you spend $200 on Scentlock Hunting Apparel, you get a free $50 Fleet Farm gift card. Rusty, when you're reeling in a bucktail, you actually go as fast as you can, right? I'm turning it and burning it, John, as fast as my reel handle can crank. And then you always want to do a nice L at the boat and watch behind for a late comer. And if you see a late comer, then you want to go into the figure eight. But that L at the boat is very critical because that's when a lot of those strikes happen from a late follower. When that lure changes direction, that's when they pounce and grab it. So reel as fast as you can without breaking the water and sometimes yep. do a little movement with your rod yep, tip. Keep your rod tip down so the bait don't pop out of the water water and just keep burning it. What happened, Rusty? He just came in and took a look, a little look and went around a part of a figure eight and then left. Did you, was that one bigger? Yeah, he yeah. was probably 40, 42. Okay. Well, this is what happens for folks. I mean, we it's been slow the last two days, and man, I'll tell you what, we get this window to open tonight, maybe we can get a couple of them to actually commit, huh? Yeah, you'd think that one, he was up high and on the bait, but he just didn't do it. Oh, not a muskie. We've had all these follows. A million follows. And what do we have here? And what do I hook? A northern pike. A teensy pike. <laughs> no, I mean, the last hour has been the best hour we've had the last two days as far as seeing fish. Oh, by far, yeah. And I mean, some aggressive fish too, right? I, yeah, it was really weird. I haven't seen that many fish actually try. Yeah. They've been trying at the baits and not getting a hold of it. Way to release there, Pete. 
Well, thanks, guys. That wasn't really quite what I was expecting here. Well, the day is done. The day is done, John, and it's been a lot of fun. We saw a lot of fish, caught a nice fish. I think the interesting part, though, is we saw, we figured eight fish in the last hour and a half, two hours. Yeah, right? the window opened up, and, you know, they were going. We didn't catch any, but the fish were definitely moving. Hey, Pete, one thing I want to mention, we got tomorrow, buddy, and I do this to you every year for about 29 years. I, I put the pressure on you to produce three muskies in two days and one evening. Do you ever feel that pressure? Wow, that light is bright. Yeah, a, a, a lot of heat and a lot of pressure, John. But, you know, we get through it. We have fun. Tomorrow, I got to leave by 5 o'clock to get home to edit this show. So get me a muskie oh, early. Oh, man. Get me a muskie early in the day. All right, yeah, right away. Hey, folks, we have a special lunch break today. We're uh, at SPX Flow headquarters in Rockford, Illinois. And, of course, XPX Flow makes Johnson pumps. And, Devin, over the course of a year, you guys have special lunches for your employees, don't you? Absolutely. So employee engagement is one of our core principles. So just with safety, we also want to reward them for all the work they're doing to get to deliver to our customers. And everybody requested Johnsonville brats. And I can feed 150 people with Johnsonville brats real easy. Here's what I do, Devin. I grill them ahead of time until they're kind of golden brown, and then I make the special Johnsonville beer bath. Wow. Okay, so you pour a bunch of beer. I like to use a turkey cooler, and then I chop up some green peppers, some onions, some red peppers, throw it all in there, and I just let it simmer. And then you can see by the line that we have, everybody lining up for their Johnsonville brats. But that's kind of a neat deal that you you make uh, make work fun here, don't you? Hey, that's always our goal. We do believe in a gauge workforce, right? It's always going to be more productive. Again, keep us safe. We love Johnsonville brats. And get Hey, you had a neat experience last week. You were the first mm -hmm. to drive the new Recon 18-foot tiller. Yeah, it was awesome. Very smooth and a lot of room for fishermen. Two live wells, nine-foot rod locker, awesome space, and a smooth ride. And the thing I like about it is it's a glass boat. It's yeah. going to outperform any aluminum boat. It's got a rear casting deck, and you can walk all along the sides. A ton of fishing room. And what's really cool, Blake, this package comes complete with two locators, a bow mount and a 90 horsepower engine plus the trailer for under $40,000. That's an amazing deal. And you can customize your own at reconboats.com. Lifetime hull warranty. The Kalen's Google Eye Swing Head features a wide base with a built-in glass rattle that puts off a lot of vibration and noise under the water. And the wide base allows it to not get snag as much along the bottom. Check this out in three sizes and three colors. The first thing that we're going to do today is attack panfish in the basin of a lake. Just gives it a little extra flavor or smell. Fishing jumbo perch in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. This is not too early to come out and catch walleyes, huh? It's never too early. This middle of May stuff for walleyes, it's cool. It's a night and day difference putting the bait mate on. This is ranked as one of the top smallmouth destinations in the world. And that bait mate does work, doesn't it? It does. August is a great time to come here. We're going to be targeting lake trout today. Catch more fish all year long with Baitmate Fish Attractive. Check it out at baitmate.com. We're featuring a new segment on the show called Ask the Guide, and you can submit the questions on facebook.com slash Gillespie Fishing. And this week's question is from Tom Rux. Now, Pete, he's wondering if there are any issues with mortality rates using a quick strike rig or catching a muskie on a regular lure. Uh, it's better than any lure, casting or trolling, safety-wise, with a quick strike rig sucker, as long as you set that hook right away. Immediately, if you're setting that hook within the first 10 to 15 seconds, you're going to hook that fish somewhere in the mouth. You might miss them, but you get about 80% hookups. You're going to hook them somewhere in the mouth, no eyes, no gills, so it's actually better. If you wait, then it's a dangerous method. If you set right away, 100%, no problem problem. Hey Tom Rux, for your question this week, you will receive two packs of Johnsonville brats. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2020 Fishing Contest. This week's first winner is Brian Ray of Aurora, Illinois, caught this 47-inch king on Lake Michigan using a fly. Terry Burnt of Rylander, Wisconsin, caught the 16-inch crappie on Boom Lake using a popper. Jennifer Winorick of Twin Brooks, South Dakota, caught this 32-inch walleye on Lake Oahe using a leech. 
Harold Jacobson of Mequon, Wisconsin, caught this 53 and a quarter inch muskie on a Vilas County Lake using a depth raider. And this week's first kid winner is John Kriz of Nina, Wisconsin, caught this 44 and a half inch muskie on Yellow Lake using a bucktail. And Connor Clemson of Oconomowoc, Wisconsin, caught this 28 inch walleye on the Bay of Green Bay using a flicker shad. Each week, I shop online at fleetfarm.com to check out the latest deals. Check out what I found this week. 32 ounce scent killer gold or autumn formula laundry detergent on sale both for $9.99 and save $10 on the Igloo 150 quart quick and cool cooler on sale for $89.99. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, we don't always catch a ton of muskies on this trip. We caught the two and had a few other chances, but, you know, Pete, we talked to a lot of guys fishing on leech. The last couple days have been notoriously slow for everybody, haven't they? Yeah, it's been tough overall. You know, we had a couple windows and a few misses, but uh, I, I really think it was uh, the heat coming back, which was kind of unexpected, but we we're getting in the 80s. I think the fish are just sick of that. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the first cool down here that'll be significant and I think they are too. <laughs> uh, oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So John, you haven't heard of Brian's custom steps? Oh Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's custom steps, call 920-315-03. From the kennel to the coop, whatever the season, Fleet Farm has everything to keep your animals happy and healthy. Whether it's keeping the backyard birds well fed season, mastering those retrieval skills season, or wondering who takes care of who season, there's a reason people say if Fleet Farm doesn't have it, you don't need it. Because we have it all. Fleet Farm. Built for real life. Well, buddy, I always want to thank you and your lovely wife, Billy, for your hospitality. We love coming up to Longville. We love having you, John. We always have a good time. So, and you're, you know, only the two muskies, and, and uh, obviously you caught them both. You're quite the angler, <laughs> but uh, you weren't that confident coming up uh, during this uh, warmer weather. Where you know, with that switch to the warm water, and, and you know, the water started coming back up in temperature. I mean, we had 75 today, and we were down in the low 70s, and the fish have reacted to that change, and they've slowed right down. I mean, we've had some good chances, and we caught a couple fish. And you know, when talking to the other anglers on the w lake, we obviously did way better than the people we talked to, which is a good thing. But, uh, you know, we had missed opportunities, but we still had a good time. Well, we always have a good time. We really do. And I'll, I'll tell you time. what, I'll be back soon, buddy. And again, appreciate everything. And uh, Rusty's up north reality if you want to buy a cabin up here. Life's right? short, buy a cabin. Life's short? Life is short. Life is short, buy, buy a, a cabin. cabin. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you, buddy. <laughs> hey, folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know we're going to fish yet. We will find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey, 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 John Gillespie!